Hello, I am Brian Huckins. I am going to talk to you today about a professional experience that resulted in um, my gaining of multidimensional perspective. Uh, I brought you know, tremendous insight and wisdom to myself uh, from the situation. Uh, I learned to take others' viewpoints when I, when I also uh, worked through the situation. Early in my professional career as a case manager, I learned that my feelings do not always reflect the way that clients in, or a family feels. Until I had an eye-opening case with a family, I had always assumed that I should ask for more services for individuals to ensure they got all they needed. When I was in my 20s, I was a case manager for people who had development disabilities. Part of my job was to design and budget, design services and budgets for those in, uh, young adults turning 21. I advocated for these young adults because they needed adult service funding to replace what school services had done for them in the past. For instance, this particular young adult was provided one-to-one -one supports from a school aide to maintain their job. The school also provided transportation to and from this job. In addition to these supports, the school provided supports to maintain the young adult's apartment. Some of these supports included providing a, a support person to bring the young adult shopping and to support them to maintain a clean apartment. All these things are what I learned from the young adult school and from observ observation when I saw the young adult in the community. So I made the assumption that I needed to ensure that the young adult had at minimum matching services as they transitioned from school to adult services. I developed a budget and began to work with service providers to start the process of, of developing these matching services. I even got as far as getting approval from my supervisor in the Bureau of Developmental Services for funding. I was feeling really good about what I had done and I was thinking that my hard work would be, great, really, would be a great relief to the family. However, I got a big eye-opening when I sat down with the guardian of this young adult to explain all that I had done for the youth. She gave me the RIAC. She said, you developed a program without the input from the guardian? She then went on to say, these services and plan you have developed have nothing to do with our plan for our child. She said, our son is too independent for these services you have set up. At this point, he does not need support on the job. He can do the job on his own. Plus, he has tremendous supports at work. We need supports to teach our son how to learn how to take public transportation. She then went on to say, you set up supports to take our son shopping and help maintain his home? She said, there's no need for that. He has support from his older brother and sister who live in the same city as, 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 they, as he does. Finally, she said, we do not need the services you develop for us, but we do need some support for recreational opportunities for him so he can integrate better with his community. This will also include supporting uh, him to learn how to manage his medical appointments and medications. I felt like such an idiot. I apologize and said I've learned a lesson today that I will never forget. One is to never assume, assume that you know what somebody needs and the lesson, lesson two is the family and youth always need to be part of the design of any services. I went back to my supervisors with my tail between my legs. I explained what happened. Fortunately from that day on, um, not only did my practice change uh, to develop when developing supports for people, but it also resulted in the entire agency changing the ways that we design services going forward. Thank you.